Hey my beautiful bitches, it's me, Fiona St. James, and welcome to another episode of Fiona's Coffee Talks. And as always, I like to start off every day with a fresh, hot, black cup of coffee. Hold the cream! I'd love to. And of course, I think of my favorite quote of the century by Oscar Wilde, which says, Life is too important to be taken seriously. So lighten up, folks. So today's topic is, drumroll please, we're going to call this... Fierce Annual Events Part 1. Yay! So, you know, I've been doing these eight-part series. And uh, last year, you know, there were specific ones. I did life as an, as an actor, drag queen, sex worker. This year, I've done, I did retail, traveling. And then I thought, okay, what other one could I do? Then I realized that uh, over the years, being a part of the leather community and being a female impersonator, specifically with the Imperial Court of New York and being Empress, I did a lot of events and a lot of like, you know, fierce traveling. Like, so it occurred to me that there are annual events out there that that are wonderful fundraisers that, that I've attended year after year. So that's what this is about, uh, this series. I'm not going to dive into it now, other than I just kind of wanted to give an overview, but you know, I do a lot in my life, and one of the things that I've always been proud of has been my fundraising and activism. So a lot of the, the events that, that are near and dear to me that I'll be talking about in this series are exactly that kind of event where it's raising money for other organizations. So, Because you know what? If you can't help people out, what can you do? So that... Uh, that's the reason why I wanted to do it, because I think it's always important to like help other people out and help out organizations. And if you can do whatever you can to do so, why not? It makes the world a much better place. So this one is going to be short. I just kind of wanted to explain why I wanted to do this series and why it was important for me to do. Little PSA that I wanted to do, and I'm going to make this very short too, but uh, I just... Just want to say, like, be careful out there because, you know, I know, like, the, with the whole pandemic, a lot of people feel like, oh, it's over. Or, like, people think that even if you get it, you will, you know, it's not going to kill you, which is, I guess, kind of true. Uh, but I, unfortunately, about six weeks, six weeks ago, got it again. And this is the third time that I've gotten it. And those of you who know me personally know that, like, you know, I still, like, when I take the subway or anything like that. I'm always wearing my mask, so I'm always ultra careful, but I still got it. And even though the symptoms weren't bad uh, when I had it, they, they talk about long COVID, which I never really knew what that was or like what it meant. But uh, about a week after I was fine and negative, and I was feeling fine, but then not too long after that, suddenly I was like, oh, what's wrong with me? And I've just been like, you know, a bit tired and achy and uh i saw my doctor like a week or two ago and you know every time i see him we test me for everything and everything was fine i was like well then why do i feel like shit well because uh when i told him what was going on which is basically like you know i've been tired a little more than usual and like joint pain uh shoulders in particular then that's when he was like long COVID, and i was like oh that's what that means so even though I know that, you know, it may not necessarily be a death sentence anymore for some people, uh, but it's something real out there. So I'm just saying, you know, be careful and you can never be too careful because I'm careful. And look, I've gotten it three times already. And every time I get it, I'm like, how? But this is the first time that I'm experiencing the aftermath of it. And I'm here to tell you it ain't fun because, <laughs> you know, I become extremely like sensitive to like the humidity and it's odd because all the times that I've gotten it have been in the summertime so then I have suffered so the the second part of this PSA is always reach out to your friends and like make sure that people are fine and don't necessarily uh judge a book by its cover in meaning that like because I post videos every day like little shorts and a lot of them I film well in advance like I always have like four or five months in the can. And you guys know I post like seven days a week on like all social media, uh, not only like YouTube sh uh, shorts, but like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And it's funny cause like uh, you go through life and I know me experiencing what I've been experiencing. I've been a little quiet 
and and I, you know, you suffer in silence. You don't, people, you know, people ask you, how are you doing? They just want a blanket statement. No one really wants to hear you bitch and moan about shit because we all got stuff to bitch and moan about. So if I have been a little quiet to those of you who are in my life, and if I've had moments where suddenly I'm not as chatty, it's because I've been going through this. And just this year, there's been other things too. So uh, it's funny too, because one other friend of mine that, who lives in Toronto when we spoke not too long ago, and he was like, oh, but you know, you would never know because you always seem so happy. Yeah, because I you know, post these videos. But so that's why I say don't judge a book by its cover. Reach out, say hi to people, make sure they're okay. And, and don't assume that people are, you know, everything's always so perfect because honey, life ain't perfect for no one. But I believe in the fact that life or the universe, as I call it, only throws you away what it knows you can handle. So I am handling this and, uh, and this too shall pass and I'll be fine. I'm already starting to feel better, but, uh, so, but that's what I've been going through. And, you know, this year there's been other things also, little fires that you got to put out, but that's called life. So you deal with it. So, all right, guys, hopefully this will be short. I think it's only been, I can't see without my glasses. So I don't know how many minutes it's been, but thank you so much for being here with me. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe if you have not. You can read everything in my book, Life and Crimes of Fiona St. James. You can get it at fionastjames.com. Saint is not spelled out. No, it's S-T, no period after the T. And, uh, and hope you guys are well. And I will speak to everyone soon. Speak to everyone. Listen to me. See everyone soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.